Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome back to Cash Talks Football, where we break down all the goals scored in the Premier League. And today we're doing Leicester against the Spursy. And um, it's quite a bit of sort of an even game, I'd say, that Spurs had the first half and near the back end of the second half. But Leicester gave themselves a, a good accounting for in this game. Um, and there's a couple of major points I'm going to sort of go over here. And the way Spurs were playing, they were putting in these um, interesting diagonal crosses where they were dropping them in from here, they're dropping them in from here, and they were landing in about these points here where they're trying to get head, uh, headers on goal or little runs through. And, um, they look quite sort of dangerous at points, but also they, they lacked a little bit, a bit of creativity or a little bit of spark up front for me. I think Madison didn't have his best game. I mean, he's just one of those players that I just don't like. He's a fantastic footballer, don't get me wrong. His hair's changed a little bit, but it, I, everyone's got those players or those people you just want to punch in the face. And I'm sorry, Madison, you're starting to wear me down a little bit. You might be one of those cats, right? <clears throat> but um, I was watching this live. And the moment I saw this, I went, oh, that's pretty decent. So uh, as soon as you saw the right back coming out of position here, but of course, we know Cash's rule. Someone's got their arm up. So what's going to happen in the Premier League? In about five seconds, someone's going to score a goal. So as you can see, one, two, three, they're all defending quite nicely. And you've got a defensive midfielder covering in, tucking in for the right back who's going out to pressure the ball. But the same issue happens with most Premier League games so far this weekend doesn't actually pressure the ball. He's going over there, but he's not close enough to do anything. So defensively, it looks okay. But again, there's still no pressure on this ball. Let's just move this on a little bit. You can see the overlap starting to happen, but all of us, there's still no pressure on the ball. Son's under no, you know, no issue here at all. Does he want to go past the player? He's just got all the time in the world to think about what he's doing. But as you can see, this starting to unfold, okay? Everyone from Leicester is getting sucked in to the ball and look at this space appearing here. You can see it. Massive gap because one player's gone to cover, but the other player's come over here to cover as well. So all of a sudden, this has appeared here. Do you need three players to cover this gap? Probably not, no. But all of a sudden, one person's one extra player's gone over and it's allowed this gap to appear here. And you maybe should have covered it, but I can see where you're going. You're trying to track your run here. But I also want you to watch this problem here he is not goal side he's allowing this runner to drift in here watch this play happen here because if this guy makes the effort and gets goal side this goal doesn't happen now you can see when this pass um this ball's cut back to madison he is goal side but this is the difference about what people don't understand about um your starting position and so he's out of sync so when he should have run back that player was just kind of uh, stopped. So as that player starts to run, he's set. Can you see his feet? He's turned and he's put his body weight down. He's set himself. And that means this player can have one step go past him again because he didn't set himself or get in his starting position just two steps ago. So he's kind of out of phase with the play. The play's going on past him. Now, this is the other point again. No pressure whatsoever on the ball. He's coming out to him, but not really. And watch this little, just a little quality dink in. One, two, bosh, in it goes. And you can see he's not quite anywhere near this little run here. And he just gets a little tiny, tiny glance on it and it goes in. And I'm also going to show you from the other angle here about this guy actually running and marking him. He's not watching the ball. He's not even interested. His head's turned. He's facing his own goal. He's just tracking him for the sake of tracking him. Just nice little glance in there, but it's the quality of the ball. And I think we're lacking a lot of that in the Premier League. I mean, good quality passes into the box. I'd say ooh, 90, 95% of the time, they're just cut out by centre-backs because the quality delivery isn't there. But today we had two really good deliveries into the box. One from Madison, and when you see one from, my, I'm not sure the Leicester player in a second, but we're going to cover it in a minute. Here you go. This is exactly what I'm talking about. As he's headering the ball, this guy's not even looking at the ball. Doesn't even know what's going on. Not even paying any. Well, it's just, it's laziness. So that laziness that starts outside of the box moves on and then it moves on and then it moves on. And then this ends up happening. Mate, you've got to be looking at the football. It's kind of important. It's maybe the point of the game and you don't want to go into the net box and you should have stopped it. So from here, the less, this is where the uh, Leicester equaliser starts. You can see here, right? Nah, not bad. Solid line. Got a man on the ball here. Okay, okay. Everyone looks okay there. Kind of like in, in a little um, uh, shape outside, but nothing to write home about. Should be easy to defend, right? But what happens here is this guy just gets muscled off the ball. 
Uh, don't know who this Spursy is here, but he gets Spursies it right up and just gets bullied off the ball by two players. They're looking for a foul. Instead of, I'll tell you what you should do, mate, is just come over here and win the football. If you weren't complaining and you went to win the football, because these two guys are still holding this player back here, you would have just got the football and cleared it and got away. But you're too busy complaining and moaning. How about you play football instead? And it might be a little bit easier for you to win the game of football. Bounces on here. Look, he's still not interested. He's still not getting close enough. And then all of a sudden, they start to go in behind. Again, no real pressure on the ball. But more importantly, you can see there's no real danger or real threat because all of the Leicester players are just here, right? Spursies kind of just, eh, look. You don't need three players there. Someone needs to start making a motion and covering this little gap here. I'm going to show you why in a second. You can see that if you just look at them, one player needs to be starting to tuck into this gap because you've got too many players here absolutely doing nothing. Now, I want you to watch Jamie Vardy here. Now, a couple of videos ago, I, I did quite a lot, so I can't remember which one it was. I was on a rant explaining about sometimes the easiest thing to do is do nothing. Stand still. Don't move. Just see what happens. See how the game develops around you. And I do like a, me a bit of Jamie Vardy. Back in the old day when I used to play the old FIFA. By the way, don't buy that video game. Go buy the one from three years ago for $1.99. Um, and do that and it'll be much much smarter saving all the old money because the game is just awful you might as well just buy the one from three years ago and every other year it's so much cheaper so when this cross comes over here there's no real threat but you can see well there's a player maybe kind of but there's enough spursies and he should have been a little bit quicker do you remember what i was saying about that little gap as it was appearing you can see how big it is now one spursy here two there and no one in between you should have been back just a little bit quicker. Doesn't matter so much because the cross comes in, but it's about a standard of play that you want to set yourself. So you always keep doing the right thing so you don't get caught out. Because if he put in a quality delivery, it would have been 1-0 right there. In fact, he doesn't. He hoofs it over. And he just goes bosh, and he hoofs it over, and it bounces all the way through. Now, when it's picked up on the other side, again, there's no... It's, uh, it's this lackadaisical approach about putting pressure on the ball. People just don't want to stop this cross coming in. Look at Vardy. He's on a little bit of a walk. Everyone ignores him, which I think is just amazing. All the Spurs, he's keep running towards the ball. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Everyone is focused on the ball. No one is doing this simple thing about looking around. Look at the ball. Look at your player. Look at the ball. Look at the player and see where they are defensively. It's 101 defending. They don't do that in any way, shape or form. And also this little shovel pass that this kid he puts in here is quality. So we've only moved it on like a second or so because I keep getting a copyright hit if I do it the way I want to do it. Um, the guy hasn't pressured him. He's just stood there going, OK, well, you've got the football. I'm stood here. Well, your job's to go win the football. He's not worried about you winning it because you just stood off him. Again, this seems to be the, the main thing in the Premier League is don't actually try to win the ball. Just stand there. Old Jamie Vardy, he's just walked with his little Zimmer frame. He's hobbled along, don't, 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 here he is, waiting to head the ball in the net box. And this quality of pass here enables him to do it. Watch this. Just shovels it over, dosh, bosh, in we go. Dosh to the bosh, into the net box, and Jamie Vardy gets himself another Premier League goal. I think he's scored um, maybe seven or eight times on the uh, opening day of the season now. Well done, Jamie Vardy. Leicester aren't that good, but they're not that bad. Defensively, they look quite solid a lot of this game. I'm so happy that Jamie Vardy scored because I do like him. I think he's a great footballer. He's got that enthusiasm that you, when he starts running and you know hassling for the ball, it's infectious for the team and everybody starts following him and doing the same around him, which I think is awesome. Other than that, not much to really write home about in this game. It was just an average Monday night game. Um, yeah, but we'll uh, we'll see if Spurs he can uh, keep it up to make it into the top four this season. I don't. Well, I think Leicester will go down because generally all the teams that come up do go down. But other than that, eh, there's not really much to talk about. I'll see you next time on Cash Talks Football.